Boom, welcome back to Elden Ring everyone, where we are back in the Royal Academy. I think this place is called the Royal Academy, yeah, main academy gate. Exactly, I don't know how I didn't notice that there was a side of grace here, but it doesn't matter. We can get going into the main part of this dungeon. As you probably saw in the little sort of exploration video, uh, I've been around the block here, around Elden Ring, so... Yeah, I... Oh, actually, I might have enough souls to level up. But the thing is, I've been doing some exploring, and... I think at this point, it's really like we're in the right position, or like right sort of time period to get going here. This is a really cool looking place. And this is very much reminiscent of Irithyll. Like this is, yeah, even the architecture, even down to the architecture, Irithyll vibes coming through pretty strongly. So I'm looking forward to this because the the first dungeon in the game, Stormvale, was excellent. Okay. I was honestly expecting something like this. I thought Sorcery was gonna be the name of the game here. Whoa! Okay, am I getting bit slapped by a sorcerer in a weird mask? Yes, I am. Yeah, but like weak ass magic ain't even gonna measure up. Let's remove the marker. Where the hell? I keep losing my marker. But I did discover, I want to show this, I did discover a neat trick. Uh, I read it on, well, Reddit. Apparently, if you place five markers, the first ones get overridden. So, one of the ways to get rid of markers that you just put somewhere and sort of lost is to put down new ones. Uh... That's pretty cool. Yeah, I have this new magic spell. Which these guys are very resistant to. I... Whoa! Okay. I don't think so. God, that is a lot of damage. Um... I was gonna say... Generally, I don't expect this area to be very friendly towards magic use, so then we're gonna cr try keeping that shit to a minimum. It's just like, what's the point of wasting my FP? Actually, can I summon my... No, I can't. See, that would probably be a better spend. Of FP or whatever. Another one? Is that Jesus there? <laughs> That's like it's like a straight up Jesus portrait. Alright. Church of the Cuckoo. So we have frequent um bonfires to say the least. You know, I keep calling that. I'm never going to call them anything else but bonfires. I mean, the fact that they were called bonfires for three games straight pretty much has cemented the idea in my mind that these are bonfires and nothing else. Yeah, so you can't trick me. Even though that guy like, strangely had a lot of HP. Oh, yeah? Man, this is this is like very very Eleum Loisy. Even down to these guys like ambushing you and shit. Not Eleum. I said Eleum Lois. I meant to say Irithyll. Same shit. Ice area. So these Grace mimics. I've not used one, but. They are supposed to show you the way to go, so... But they do keep respawning. I was just about to say, do they respawn? I guess they do. You know what? Let's... Let's try one. In 
interesting. That general direction. I guess it's like a bit pointless to use this in the dungeons because the dungeons are a little bit more self-contained. But out in the open world, they might be useful. Although generally, I'll be honest with you, I've not had spellproof dried liver. Might be, might be worth taking a look. But so far, you know, I'd say the resistance in this area has been very low, just aside from the fact that these guys, wrong item, have quite a bit of HP. Yeah, okay, just run. They actually have a lot of HP, holy shit. Uh, this is something I didn't notice, uh, I've been wanting to say this, that it seems like the damage sort of values are tuned pretty high. Looks like FromSoft is going for the big numbers, you know. That's really annoying that those two are shooting at us, even here. Not a big issue, but just annoying. So far, definitely... I'm so screwed. I am so screwed. Heal. Yeah, the dogs are pretty bad in this game. I'm not gonna lie. I was giving them the benefit of the doubt early on. I was like, yeah, they're they're not so bad. Take all of that back. Okay, thank fuck for that. Sketch head luck prevails, as always. Mm. Okay, you can poise break them. It's quite a bit of effort. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, they do keep respawning. Man, okay, either everything is mega resistant to magic or like my magic powers are being exposed as being pretty piss poor. Uh, Spectral Lance, Ash of War. Yeah, I do need to check out my Ashes of War. To see if I don't have anything dope because this Stormcaller, I think the spell is called that I have on this, it's... It's not very useful. Just does sort of a... Yeah. It stuns enemies, but that's about it. So yeah, I was gonna say, so far... Pretty linear. You can totally... You can totally jump on that. Um... Shit. This is like the big enemy of this area. Not like the boss, but you know, like the big obstacle. Oh yeah? He doesn't have poise. He does have fucking jury V-Trigger 2. I'm just like overloaded with Street Fighter re references recently, right? I don't know why. Nice. Gravity. What type of spell is that? Is that a sorcery? It is a sorcery. So it looks like, uh, from what I can gather, and again, this is very early judgment, 
to me it seems like even though there are only two Yeah, that's going to be an edit. I might as well finish my thought because I'm just going to forget it. Even though there, it seems like there are two magic classes, it looks like there are like some subclasses within. So like, as I saw, pyromancies are in, I mean, faith based. Whereas, um, Seems like there are like gravity spells which are int based. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, that was a stupid death. Yeah, I'm really annoyed by the way I died there. Um, you're gonna see that, but that, that just pissed me off. That grab attack was like, straight out of like, Dark Souls 2. Like, a Dark Souls 2 mimic does some shit like that. So yeah, uh, well, we died. And I did have quite a lot of souls. Initially, now those are gone. I mean, it's one level. I'm gonna live. It's just... Well, you know. You know my views. Anyways, we're gonna continue on here in this area. Yeah, this to me really seems like a slightly more linear area. Which is okay. It's okay. The one of the things I definitely saw, that like spinning elevator also has a bottom so, I don't know, bruh. We'll be able to check that out. Oh, shit, seriously? Okay, please, please just last this episode of Elden Ring. We'll be good after, because... Yeah. Got bled. Where the hell did you come from? First of all... These guys are supremely weird with their helmets. Like, it looks cool. Unique, I should say. GG's for having dope tire. This is one of those chests. Okay. Yeah, I assume this is sort of the main magic hub. It's, at least it's nice of them to bring it forward because usually you go to this sort of magic area a la Duke's archives towards the end of the game. Even in Dark Souls 2, like Aldeus place and all that shit. But here, no, you come here early. Whoa, okay. It's a pot. It's a big pot. a lot more of you than I expected. Got the whole fucking Ivy League school ganging up on us. That is... Is that what it feels like to be an enemy in this game? When I'm spamming spells? I think so. This is like more of them kept showing up. More and more of them. Out of nowhere. See, the nice thing is, my backstab straight up just, like, removes them from existence. So... No, this is not good. I feel like this, this is gonna be an annoying area. If this is, like, the main enemy throughout this whole place... I'm gonna be pretty mad. It's like Shrine of Amana on steroids. Sorry, Pot. 
we met a version of you that was pretty chill. It's just... You're not that. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, I can't even get a hit in. Yeah, like, I, I literally, I can't get an attack off. Uh, this is a little bit insane. Okay, yeah, yeah, sc screw this place. I'm, I'm taking my runes and I'm running through. Like, this is absolutely insane. There's, like, seven of them spamming insane amounts of sorceries at you. Uh, and I, I'm literally unable to get a single attack off, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna move on. I see that there's a treasure chest there, but... I don't know. Maybe once I have, like, a way more HP. <sighs> this area is just... It's really, really giving me... And they're all coming up the stairs. Like, this is, this is straight up Shrine of Amana. This is pre patch Shrine of Amana vibes, for sure. Uh, especially since these sorcerers, or sorcerers, for some inexplicable reason, have poise. And do not ask me why or how. Is this already the boss? This can't be the... Oh, it's a... Red Wolf Ragadon. It's not the... What's her name? I'm so fucked. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I was like not prepared for that at all. Red Wolf of Radagon. Is this Sif? Is this this game's version of Sif? I think so. Luckily the run back is piss easy. So I'm happy about that at least. Okay, let's try this again. Red Wolf of Radagon. Yeah, he has magic. Oh, but he's weak. I see how it's gonna be. This is like, it's difficult to get an opening. Oh, he's really easy. Sketch lock coming through. Piss easy, yeah. That is very, very easy. And we got another attunement slot. Nice, nice, nice. Well, for that amount of effort, <laughs> that was very much worth it. Uh, yeah. Man, that was like lame Sif. Uh, mixed with Red 13 from Final Fantasy. Whenever I see any, any like wolf or dog type enemies named Red, I always think of Red 13 from Final Fantasy. Uh, what's the third one? Let's just get normal Glintstone. I need to rearrange these. So we want the Glintstone Pebble, we want... This is not a bad spell, this Glintstone Stars. And we want the Scholar's Armament. That to me is a good sort of mix. Hopefully... Oh, is this where... Is this where the area opens up? That would be re really cool. Because like I said, so far it's been pretty linear. Which I don't mind. Like, dungeons can go either way. Not everything has to be as like super intricate as Stormvale. I was just about to say. 
Is that an NPC? But it's not. <laughs> These bots. I kind of feel bad. They're cute. And apparently weak to magic. Or does this just like deal an insanely low amount of damage? Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, that's why. Because I was like wondering, like this glintstone star sounds like it should be more powerful, but I guess it's not. Okay, it seems like to my um, joy, these guys are going to be the main enemies throughout this area. Uh, thanks, game. That's the shortcut back. I know a soul shortcut when I see one, believe me. Fuck. Oh, yeah, you want to go, bitch? Extremely resistant. Not that that should really surprise me. Oh, that's a wet blade, so that means magic infusion, right? Probably. God, these guys are insanely difficult to parry. Their attacks are just like more delayed than you can imagine. What the shit is that? And there's like crabs. Is this a frat house? Whoa, you have a lot of HP. All we can do is catch crabs. What the fuck are you? But it's friendly fires and it has a lot of HP. You are really weird. Can I just point that out? I'm assuming bleed ain't gonna do much against these guys. Whoa! Okay. Grabby arms. Do your spin. Interestingly, I did just notice that you can summon your wolves slash Ash of War here, so, you know. Why the fuck not? Let's see how they do. Because I upgraded them. Okay, retreat. Fuck. Yeah, do the flask. This should like make me very damage resistant. Holy shit, does that make you damage resistant? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. The flask is good. It's just... It don't last too long. Oh hey, I have you as an Ash of War. Or Spirit. I mean, if I've ever seen an instant death attack, that's it. <laughs> Don't even think about some doing some other bullshit ass combo. So close to being dead. There we go. That is Yeah, that is a lot of souls. Interestingly no item either which is well whatever i'll take it without an item also useful i 
I need to get crafting again a little bit because I'm picking up a lot of shit. I'm just not doing much with them. <gasps> nice. So I assume you still need two. If I had to guess, so... Just gonna be on the lookout. I don't know what the flask number is, the max. What the hell? Is that a crystal crab? Am I seeing this right? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Is that what I... One of the glintstone crowns bestowed upon Rhea Lucaria scholars whose pursuit were, pursuits were deemed noteworthy. <laughs> oh shit. That's pretty good. I like it. You know, like... We had the Black Knight armor in Dark Souls 1 which made your head look tiny. Talk about the opposite of that. Okay. You you just have a lot of crabs here. Why do you have so many crabs? Not that these guys are... What the... What status ailment is that? I kind of almost want to get hit by it just so I can like see what it is. Oh, I see where you go. Whoa, okay. The crustaceans are really, really out for you. Yep. Gotta use them platforming. Oh, there's a door here, which I completely missed. What up, crab? See, people, these enemies are the reason why you never use magic. S like, seriously? Do you want your opponent to feel like that? How I'm feeling? No, you don't. I'm only kidding, of course, before somebody jumps on my throat. This is a very interesting area, though. Evo Mania have like five arrows sticking, giant arrows too, holy shit, sticking out of you. Stormvale though, it's gonna be difficult to top Stormvale, for sure. That, that was such a good dungeon, like unbelievably good. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's gonna be some big fuck you monster. It's not a big fuck you monster, but it's certainly a fuck you monster. Whoa. Don't get fancy on me here. Just keep spamming. We gotta go. Like, holy shit. <sighs> I'm beginning to wonder whether going with a heavy weapon has been a good idea. So far, like, maybe it's just this area, especially. This game seems pretty heavy weapon unfriendly. Just not looking at the fact that... I don't seem to have poise, even though I have an armor set. Okay. 
Great. Okay, we're back, or at least we're almost back. One of the good things here is that I actually managed to conserve some of my magic. Fuck. I really thought it was dead. So yeah, I was. what I was going to say is... I do kind of get the general vibe that this place is pretty unfriendly to heavy builds. Because everything just attacks so goddamn quickly that I'm basically... What the... I'm basically having trouble uh, getting my attacks out without any poise so I think definitely one of the things I'm gonna be shooting towards is just getting some sort of poise because it's needed and again which is strange because I am not wearing the like lightest of equipment it's just I don't know It could be that there is a different poise mechanic in this game, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I doubt it. This is why you conserve some magic. Okay. Oh, there we go. fucking Assassin's Creed soul I'm repeating did I mention this on the channel I started replaying Assassin's Creed Unity which is a game I really really like uh, despite the well immune sword key okay that's even more interesting so are there like different levels of that so despite the start of how Assassin's Creed Unity was released, not needing any explanation, because it's like one of the most memed games ever, the state that the game turned into is really quite something else, and I do enjoy what the game has turned into generally enjoy Assassin's Creed as a whole and I feel like Unity is, is one of the better ones can't touch the GOAT Black Flag but or Assassin's Creed 2 but it, it's up there I was just in the mood for some AC I feel like whenever a game comes out in sh sh such a shitty state the best thing you can do is just sit on your ass and wait because you know it's gonna get patched and as you see Assassin's Creed Unity got patched into a decent game a good game I'd say and I picked it up for like 14 bucks even less than that then I can enjoy the experience without it being marred by the current fucking like Twitter meme or something poor crabs oh there's a double one That looks even more ridiculous. I've been going for quite a while now, so... I'm looking to hit a bonfire. Gonna be honest with you. Not that I wanna end it. It's just to, you know, keep the... What the fuck? 
That is like some advanced spell casting. You know, just to keep the general pace of an episode. I'm surprised that wasn't an ambush. There is a lot of school spells. School spells? God, I really can't talk. It's Sunday afternoon, or it's Sunday evening, I should say. Uh, it's Monday tomorrow, maybe it's just the... Okay. It's 15k as well. Okay, I really need to get back there. Um, probably gonna do that off screen. This has been basically a straight shoot episode. I don't have to cut out a lot here. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I'll get back to my blood stain and hopefully in blood one piece. Uh, and then we can move on. This area, I like it more atmospherically I see again I enjoy Stormvale so much that I feel like it's gonna be difficult to top oh are those the fucking like Hogwarts headmasters up there looks like it and they're the masks are based on them like there's the two dudes cool gonna go ahead and wrap it up here I want to thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring if you did, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.